this now a bunch of times, obviously, out of an underhook. I'm gonna talk briefly about hitting it out of an overhook because this is sort of, maybe not the counter, right? But like, this is the situation you put yourself in when you take an underhook, right? The other guy has an overhook. So, you have an underhook on the side, if you don't mind. So Fletch has an overhook, and let's say that, uh, over, uh, underhook, sorry. Fletch has an underhook, and let's say that I actually get head position, right? I get an overhook with head position here, okay? From here, I actually have a chance, if I do this well, to shoot a double leg on this side, even though his arm is inside, but with a little bit less fear of just, just getting choked, right? Like, of him coming over the top and getting choked. So, again, this requires this guy to take an underhook, but you have head position. And there are a bunch of different ways to hit this. You can just do it from a straight up overhook. What I usually do is I'll take the overhook, I'll start to shift his head away, right? I have head position, I start to shift it away, and I'll come down over top. I'll come down into a front headlock scenario. I still have this overhook. It might not look like it, right? Because I have the front headlock, but I still do. From here, I can let go of the chin. As I let go of the chin, I keep my weight down, right? From here, he's collapsed inside. He can't really jack me up. He's too low, right? He doesn't have a proper underhook where he's really lifting me up, preventing me from taking that shot. He's still low. I have this overhook. I let the head go. From here, I stay low. I'm gonna blast through, but then I'm gonna shift my legs around. So I don't need to go to my knee on this one if I don't want to. I can, but I'm just gonna go in and around. Okay, so very similar motion from the overhook. Uh, it's not as, this one's more finesse, right? Like there's more timing to it. You have to really feel how he's playing that underhook, your ability to get the front headlock, so on and so forth. But if you can hit it, there's not a lot of chance for him to just jump on a choke there. So again, he has the underhook, I have the overhook, maybe I get the wrist, maybe I get the head position, that's fine. I start to pull, snap, I keep it here. He pops his head up because he wants to raise up. Right here, I'm staying low. Through and down. Again, you can go to your knee. You don't have to on this one. There's more blast to it. You're more timing it as he comes up. Any questions on that one? Or anything to add? Okay. What's up? So, is part of the concept that you want to keep his arm trapped as you're taking the shot? Like yes, exactly. Yeah, it's staying inside. And actually, let me talk briefly about how I'm getting this front headlock just so we don't gloss over that. Again, I said I have head position, right? I'm going to push away. So, I'm just basically framing. I'm, I'm replacing my head, right? my hand, I start to push away. If he wants to hang out up here, that's fine. I have foot sweeps, I have all kinds of stuff, right? This is more, yeah, he's, he's down in a stance. I start to push away, I come over top. As I come over top, notice my body comes out front. Because if I just come over top here, he'll just take a single, right? So, as I come over top, I come out front. I still have this overhook, he lifts up. Right through it. Any questions on that? Remember, I'm not reaching up to grab that front headlock. I'm covering with my body. It's a snap down, not a reach up. If he clasps your arm, like your he tricep, to... if he like holds on to it, so. You break your own arm. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Any other questions? You, you Americana yourself. Oh, okay. So you don't want to do that. All right.